Hi everyone, this is my first time to make a video on our new software, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, I'll do my best. So for this lesson, we're trying to find the equation of the line that's passing through two points. And what we're going to use to find the equation of the line is the point-slope formula. Now, that's important. In order to use the equation, we need a point and a slope. And that's why it's called the point-slope formula. So you can't find the equation of the line without having those two things. What you'll notice about this particular um, problem is it has two different points. So since it has two different points, you can pick either point. It does not matter which point you pick. I'm just going to pick the first one. Now, if you use the other point, 1, 4, you'd still get the same answer. Now, I also don't have a slope, so what you'll notice about the slope is I've given you the formula for the slope at the top of the page. The formula for the slope is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In this particular problem, we have our negative 3 is an x, negative 4 is a y, 1 is an x, and 4 is a y. This one comes from the first ordered pair, so I'll give it a 1, and this one the second ordered pair, so I'll give it a 2. So if I plug into my green slope formula, y2 is 4, minus y1 is a negative 4, x2 is 1, minus x1 is negative 3. So if I clean this up, I get 8, Two negatives make a positive. Four plus four would give me eight, and one plus three would give me four, and that means my slope is two. Okay, so the slope is two. So now I have a point, and now I have a slope. Now, what I have to do next is put the point and the slope into the point-slope formula. So the point-slope formula you will need to know for all of your lessons um, in calculus, and it is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay? So following along, this negative 3 will be my x1, and this negative 4 will be my y1. Slope, of course, is the letter m. So we're going to say y minus y, which would be negative 4, equals my slope, which is 2, times x minus negative 3. Okay? Before you do any math to it, clean up the double negatives. So you're going to have y plus 4 equals negative, I'm sorry, that's a positive 2. y plus 4 equals 2 times x plus 3. Now I always put my answer in slope form, um, slope intercept form, so I'm going to solve it out and get y by itself. So y plus 4 would equal 2x plus 6. Okay, I'm going to move the 4 over, so I'll subtract 4 from both sides. And y equals 2x plus 2. And that's my answer. So let's try one more of those. Give you a second. I want to find the equation of the line passing through 1, 6, and 2, 4. Okay, in order for me to find the equation of the line, I need to use my point-slope formula. So I need a point, and I need a slope. Okay, you can pick whichever point you want. I'm just going to pick the first one. So that's going to be 1, 6. But I don't have a slope, so I have to find the slope. So the slope formula, remember, is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so looking back at the problem, 1 is x, 6 is y, 2 is x, 3 is y. This comes from the first ordered pair, and this comes from the second ordered pair. So y2 is 3 minus 6, 2 minus 1. So I get negative 3 over 1, so my slope is negative 3. 
Watch that sign. So I've got the point, I've got the slope. Now all I have to do is put it into my point slope formula. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. So labeling my values, this would be X1 and Y1. This would be M. So we would say Y minus 6 equals negative 3 X minus 1. Okay, clean it up and be careful with your signs. So Y minus 6 equals negative 3X plus 3 because negative 3 times negative 1 would give you a positive result. I'll move the 6 over and y equals negative 3x plus 9. And that's your answer.